after the rain comes sunshine and after a hard work comes reward this is the best way to describe how Ojokore Locust Housing Estate Community Development Association fought its way to survival and turned what could have been a sad story to what we are seeing today. With the community self-help project, a breath of fresh air was ushered in after our long years of thirst. Yes, this is one of the estates, uh, though initiated by Alaji Jack Kande. But this estate in particular was built by Brigadier General Bolahon Mudashiru when he was the administrator of Lagos State. That even at the time it was, it was a farmland display before the administration came in and uh, turned it to a residential area. So, but over, over time, things have improved and we believe the improvement will be a continuous one. It's a mini Nigeria and the relationship is that of a family. We relate with each other cordially, irrespective of uh, where our individual comes from. I'm also going in here, it's a uh, pre predominantly civil servant estates. Ojokoro Locust Housing Estates consists of 176 housing units located along Lagos Abelkota Expressway under Ojokoro Local Council Development Area. Residents of this community are mostly civil servants and professionals. Some are even retired. They pride themselves in what they have done to make the low-cost housing estate a sinosho of all highs. Their efforts did not go unnoticed. In 2014 and 2016, Ojokoro Locust Housing Estate CDA was recognized and rewarded accordingly by the state government for being a partner in community development. The recognition encouraged uh, every one of us and all the institutions that have contributed. It makes us to realize that the government recognizes our efforts and it also influences us to do more for the community. It's quite um, encouraging. And it shows that uh, they, go, they reach out and they know what is going on. What did Ojokoro Locust Housing Estate did for such an honor? Some of the community leaders explain. For the first time, we had our 100 days in office with a big project which was commissioned. And towards this, we were given state award and recognition. Projects called FAT road maintenance and many others and since then we've never stopped we continue and we will not relent i was made one of the committee that involved the project committee that took care of the drainages that we built we constructed a drainage right from that cora Prick secondary school that is spanned a long time and that stopped the flood of water that comes outside from outside the estate since that time we've not been having problem of uh, water uh, flooding that particular area. There was no gate here, we did the gates, and also this drainage was done. Water used to flood the entrance, but we have to do some drainage to see that the water flows directly to the gutter. And like I said also, the walls that were broken, uh, for so many years these walls were done, it all made, a lot of parts were broken there, we have to refence it again to create security for the estates. When it rains, as you've heard, it's difficult for students to get to school conveniently. So we still hope that one day, and very soon too, they'll come to our aid. In its bid to make life better for its people, Ojokore Locust Housing Estate CDA has carried out repair work on its road to allow pedestrians and motorists commute without hassles. They have constructed drainage system and covered to keep flood at bay in the area. And to add further to its cap, Ojokoro Locust Housing Estate Community Development Association is currently embarking on the construction of the community hall. They commended the response of the Lagos State Government to their SOS call. They described it as timely. They added that with Governor Akiume Ambode still piloting the affairs of the state, Residents can go to sleep. The governor is doing a very good job in Lagos State as a whole. 
Uh, I will recall that some years back, between Ojokoro to Abulia Egba, it's a very terrible place to go through. And the construction and that of the flyover has helped, has eased up uh, movement. Vehicle, now you can go towards Abatio easily without less constraint. Um, people from Ugu State, they pass through from toll gate into Lagos. They bring in farm products from the farm and all these things. Uh, so it helped. People move faster now and there's less accidents on the road. The present government is a listening government. So we are happy that we are part of this government and we are partnering in a good way and it's a good venture. People lack sensitization. They don't know that what the government has provided is for them and they are supposed to take the ownership of that, those things so that it, at the long run they are going to be the end beneficial. And so if they continue to destroy or allow it to be destroyed, then they are also destroying themselves. With little they have done to make members of the community smile again, Ojokoro Low Cost Housing Estate Community Development Association, like an Oliver Twist, wants more support from government and other well spirited people. We still need the presence of the community of the government and that we will not relent in our helping ourselves in trying to uh, put in order things that will make us to feel comfortable as a community especially security-wise. Uh, those areas are very important for us. The corporate organization that you're coming around, for those of us that are around here, please, we are appealing to you to come to our 